hey guys welcome back again to my youtube channel and uh, thanks for supporting my videos you, you audience is giving a lovely support and uh, uh, the, the project on which we are working today will be a uh, will be making a machine learning model and the problem will be a logistic regression or a classification type of problem in which we are going to apply the algorithms which is known as the logistic regression so let me uh, quickly have a intro to the this data set and the data set on which we are working is available over the kaggle so you may download over this kaggle website and it's a heart attack analysis and the prediction data set so in this on the basis of different columns or this uh, this information like the age gender chest pain blood pressure cholesterol uh, cholesterol level fasting and uh, this uh, exercise minimum heart rate so these are the various thing and on the basis of which we have to predict the uh, whether the person will have a heart attack or not so already i have downloaded the excel file of this or the csv file of this format uh, so here is the data set which we are having and uh, we are going to analyze this ta uh, particular target column okay yes so let's quickly open our Jupyter notebook and upload the data set and uh, then let's make a machine learning model So let's quickly let's import a data set with the help of panda so simply write and I have given the name to the file hurt.csv so here is our data so as per the data set there are 303 rows and the 14 columns and let's check if there is any non values in the data set simply write df dot is null and I want the sum of the non values in the columns yes so there are no non values in our data and today we'll be using the sklearn sklearn libraries uh, through which we will be dividing the data into the training and testing part and with the help of which we are importing the logistic regression library which will help us to uh, calculate this target column and through the this sklearn also we are going to uh, test the accuracies for that uh, what is the level of uh, model uh, what is the score of, of our model that we have made so simply write from sklearn dot model selection I am importing print test split and again let's write uh, let's import the this logistic regression from sklearn linear model I am importing the logistic regression and from and also let's import accuracy score and it's a matrix we are using from scale on dot matrix I am importing I am importing the accuracy score. Let's import all the libraries and all our libraries are imported. And let's have some of the info about the data. And here is the info. All the values are in the integer or in the float format. And we have also checked the NAND values in the data that there are no NAND values 
and let's have a quick statistical summary of our data set simply write dot okay you guys wait wait a minute guys okay so oh uh, what's the issue it's saying okay so there is some spelling error it should be describe yes. so there is the this some of the statistical information the count values and the mean the standard deviation the percentile and the maximum values Uh, let's proceed further. And if we check the target values, if I take this column, particular column, and we'll describe you the values. So here the one represents that the particular person will have a heart attack and the zero presents that uh, the person will not have a heart attack. Okay, and now let's <coughs> let's divide the column into the x and y. And so for x, let's take an example. I am defining the x variable and then putting the data frame in which my all the data is presented and from it i am dropping this and i am dropping the target column and put it x is to one and in the y i am describing if target okay so if i write uh, show you the x we have all these values and uh, we have dropped the with this uh, target column and in the y we are only having the target column okay so let's divide our data so simply write extreme extreme x text y train equal to Train test split in which x comma y and I am let's say I am uh, putting the test size to be twenty uh, percent. So we have bifurcated our data, and the for the training part we are giving training to the 80 percent of the data and uh, to apply that training over the testing we are using 20 percent as the testing okay so if i print the shape of uh, my data and it will be let me show you the shape of the data x shape 
then I want to x. So this is the particular way in which our data is divided. And let's give a training and I'm putting the logistic regression. Simply write my model I'm using is a logistic regression. Put it like this and let's the fit the x train and x test and i'm fitting the model simply right x train and y train Let me fit my model and simply write model dot fit. Okay, so my model has been fit into the above division of my data. And if I write prediction, explain. prediction and it will be I'm writing model dot predict extreme so my statement is being done successfully and let's print the accuracy training accuracy Training accuracy will be accuracy score which we have imported in the beginning. Simply write x train among y train. Let's print the score. Let's see how much uh, model how much learning is done by our model simply write uh, print training accuracy so it's around 85 percent that our machine has learned the data let's proceed further simply on uh, simply by this way we can also the train uh, are this test data and uh, so this is the model we have created and uh, let's see uh, how our model is running or not let me open a notepad okay so this is the various data and it's a csv file say for example i am taking this input data and excluding this and going back to my model i am writing input data is my this and
input data as empire will be and p dot array and this i am giving this input data and let's reshape input data reshape will be by every dot reshape and I am reshaping my data production will be model dot and I am predicting input data reshape and print prediction and simply write if prediction is zero that means no yes it will be not an heart attack then print person is not having attack else Pulse print the person has heart disease. So, as per this data, the person will have the heart disease. So, this is the model which we have created today, and I guess it's a very simple model. Uh, you can also have a try over it and you may also take the different data sets as per your need so thank you guys have a good day and uh, please like and subscribe to my videos have a good day thank you